So we've been asked to find the smaller angle formed by the clock's hands at 444. And this could be AM or PM, it doesn't matter, it's an analog watch. And uh, this is a classic trigonometry problem and I think it's a great little problem to work on thinking skills. And so I wanted to walk you through how I approach a problem like this and hopefully maybe work on your thinking skills a little. So the first thing I like to do, trigonometry to me is a very, very visual subject. And so you really need to draw a picture. And so I'm going to draw my best attempt at a circle. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we've got 12 and 3 and 6 and 9. And so you've got 4 and 5 somewhere in here. And, uh, you know, 1 and 2 and uh, on and on and on and on and on. And we don't need all of that. But so where is 444 on the clock? We're going to have an hour hand. We're going to have a minute hand. Now, our minute hand will be almost on the 9. It'll be almost on the 9. And the mistake that most students make is they put their hour hand pointing exactly at the 4. The hour hand points at the 4 when it's exactly 4 o'clock. It's between 4 and 5 until 5 o'clock, so it's actually going to be more like right here. Okay, so it's going to be more like in between 4 and 5 is our hour hand. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking for this angle between these two hands. And the common mistake I get is someone says, okay, this one points at 4, this one points at basically the 9, and they give me that angle. Now, a couple of things we want to do here. Uh, first of all, is we have to look at our hour hand. Okay, We have to look at our hour hand. Um, and we really want to look at um, what I call per hour and a per minute thing here. So um, 12, right? We've got 12 hours. Okay, and uh, in 12 hours, the hour hand makes a full rotation, right? And a full rotation of either hand is 360 degrees. So if I take that and I divide it by 12, what do I get? I get 30 degrees per hour. For every hour, the hour hand rotates 30 degrees. You with me? So from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, the hour hand has moved 30 degrees. Okay? Now, if in an hour it moves 30 degrees, we take that 30 degrees and divide it by 60. Now, why do we do that? Because it moves 30 degrees in one hour, and there are 60 minutes in one hour. So that's half of a degree per minute. The hour hand moves half a degree per minute. Okay? Now we want to look at the minute hand. Okay? We want to look at the minute hand. Okay? The minute hand uh, goes from 12 back around to 12 every hour, okay? So it's 360 degrees per hour. If we divide that by 60, right? So if we take 360 and divide it by 60, we get six degrees per minute, okay? That's the minute hand. That's the hour hand, okay? Now, if we know these rates, I'm going to redraw my picture, okay? I'm going to redraw my picture and kind of walk you through my logic here, okay? So here goes, la, 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 la. I'm going to make it bigger this time, okay? Make it bigger this time. So here's three, four, five, six, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? I'm going to start with the assumption that the hour hand, hour hand is on four, 
Okay? And that's at 4 o'clock. That's at 4 o'clock. Okay? There's the minute hand, there's the hour hand at 4 o'clock. Okay? Now, everybody with me so far? This guy's going to rotate around to here. So that's the new the minute hand. It's going to rotate around here and that's at 444. This is at 444. Okay? And we're going to leave that there. Now what's happened to the hour hand? It has moved. It has moved to here, right? It's moved to somewhere here. How far has it moved from here? Okay, how far has it moved from here? Okay, because could you figure out if the hour hand was exactly on 4 and this was exactly on 9, could you figure that out? Well, every one of these is 30 degrees. So that'd be 30, 60. And so here's my logic. Here's how I do this. From 4 to 9, what would that angle be? Right? 30, 60, 90. 120, 150. That's 150 degrees. So I'm going to say 150 degrees. Now, the hour hand is moved this way, and we know that the minute hand is not exactly on 9. How far is the minute hand from the 9? Okay, it's 1 minute. What is 1 minute? 6 degrees. You see that? 444 is 1 minute from being there. This hand is going to be 6 degrees that way. So we took care of the minute hand. Now, the hour hand has moved this way, making the angle smaller. How much? Well, where, when was it here? It was here at 4 o'clock. It's now 444. How many minutes has that been? 44 minutes times a half a degree per minute, okay? So somewhere over to the side, we say 0.5 degrees per minute times 44 minutes. What's that give us? It's 22 degrees, right? Minutes cancel, you get 22 degrees. So guess what we're gonna do? Minus 22 degrees, and that's our hour hand. So what we do is we start at this magic assumption. This guy's pointing exactly at 4, this guy's pointing exactly at 9, and then we move them in. We move them in based on the actual time. So what's 150 minus 22 minus 6? Well, 22 and 6 make 28. So 150 minus 28 basically is minus 30. It's 122. It's 122 degrees. And that's the answer. The answer to this problem is 122 degrees. Now there may be other ways to approach it, but I like to look at the, if this is pointing exactly at this, and this is pointing exactly at this, it's 30 degrees per hour. I can figure that out. It's 150 degrees. Now, this is one minute shy. This is 44 minutes that way. How much did this guy move in 44 minutes? How much did this guy move in one minute? Ta-da, 122 degrees. It's a fun little problem. It's a very classic problem. I don't think any trig teacher goes through trigonometry without asking this question. And so if you see this problem, this is my way of approaching it. I'm not going to tell you it's the only way, but it's the way I like to do it. And once you figure out these cute little ratios of 0.5 and 6 for the minute and the hour hands respectively, you can um, pretty easily find uh, any time you want. So if you have any questions about that, how I got 122 degrees or any way I can help you with that, please let me know.